Hi, welcome to ERP Next video tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to import data in ERP Next from spreadsheet files. Data import feature is very useful when you have to migrate data available in legacy systems or in spreadsheet files into ERP Next. It can be used for importing master data like customers, suppliers, items etc. You can also import transactions via using this tool. To understand how Data Import Tool works in ERP Next, let's import few customers. Go to Data Import Tool. Select Customer as Document Type. With this, all the fields in the customer form will be shown. Check fields in which you wish to import values. You can also choose to import values in the mandatory field by clicking here. If you want to import new customers, then select Download Blank Template. On this click, a spreadsheet file will be downloaded. This spreadsheet file will have a standard header. Please do not delete or edit anything the first and second column of this file. Each field in the customer form will be listed as a column in the spreadsheet. Check this to know which columns are mandatory. You can leave non-mandatory columns blank as well. For the link field, like customer group and territory, you must enter the value which is already present in the customer group master. Enter customer name, customer type, enter valid customer group and territory. Add new customer in the new row. Save file the CSV format. To import save file, come back to Data Import Tool in ERP Next account. Browse and select the file to be imported. Check one of it, if applicable. Click on Import. On the right side, you will see the import log which will indicate if your import was successful or not. If there is any error found in the spreadsheet, system will suggest where exactly a correction needs to be made. After making the required correction, you can import the same file again. Let's check how to create a new document with data in the child table. For example, item table and the quotation is the child table. Let's check how to enter data in spreadsheet file to import quotation with items. In data import tool, select quotation. Check fields or tables to be shown in the spreadsheet file. Download template. Enter naming series. Enter your company name. Enter quotation date. Enter customer's currency and exchange rate. Enter price list details. Enter customer. Enter item code and quantity. Add new item in the new row. Other details like item name and description will be updated from item master. For a new quotation, enter details from here. Save template in CSV format. Come back to Data Import Tool in your ERP Next account. Browse and select the file to be imported. Since quotation is a submittable document, you can check Submit after importing. Import. Check the import log.
you can also use data import tool for overriding values in the existing records. For example, customer group in existing customers can be overwritten using data import tool. Let's check steps to overwrite values from data import tool. Select customer as a document. Select column in which data is to be overwritten. Click on download template with data. When overwriting, do not change values in the name column. Only keep records in which value is to be overwritten. Delete row of other records. Edit values as per your need. Save the file in CSV format. In the Data Import tool, browse and select the file to be imported. Import. Hope you found this video tutorial useful. For more details and free sign up, go to erpnext.com. Thanks for watching.